Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. Dynasys Lite is an ARA2 plugin for automatically smoothing vocals, dialogue, and instrument recordings. It's included with Active Pro Tools subscriptions. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how it can be used to greatly speed up the process of leveling out dialogue in audio post. This project is a corporate video consisting of dialogue with some music. Usually for this type of content, I'd spend quite a while applying clip gain to the dialogue in order to make it sound more consistent in level and close to a target loudness level. Before we do anything, let's take a listen to the raw audio with its initial levels. The Tomorrow Home is part of our ongoing commitment to protecting the environment and showcases various technologies designed to reduce carbon emissions. The Tomorrow Home gives that opportunity to be able to test some of the new technology. You know, here you've actually got our heating system in this particular property and an air source system next door. So essentially, infrared doesn't warm air at all. It just travels straight through air. I hope this trial will actually prove that the infrared heating is the more reliable. Obviously, it's all over the place at the moment. So now we'll use Dynasys to carry out all of the dialogue levelling for us. The dialogue in this session is all on one track, so we'll enable Dynasyst for the track by going to the Elastic Audio and ARA selector and choosing Dynasyst. Now it's open at the bottom of the edit window, and remember with ARA, the plugin has access to the entirety of the audio track, meaning any processing will happen very quickly. You can see it's scanning the audio now and applying initial default settings. The version of Dynasyst which is included with Pro Tools is Dynasyst Lite, and in that version we have the Ride and Voxgate tabs. In the paid version which I'm using here, there's also additional tabs for breath and sibilance control. To demonstrate the functionality of Dynasyst Lite, I'll initially disable these two. You can see when I disable these, the waveform within Dynasyst changes to reflect the removal of those processes. We now have a waveform with this green line above it representing the gain changes which have been applied. Also, there are short sections of red which represent the bits which have been gated. For now, let's also disable the gate function so we can focus purely on the ride section. Currently, we can see all of the content from this whole track which totals over 8 minutes. I can zoom in on this by scrolling with the mouse, and when we're zoomed in sufficiently, we can see the individual breakpoints which Dynasyst has applied. The number of these can be adjusted with a speed slider. If I reduce this, lower values create more breakpoints. So I'll just zoom in so you can see those. And higher values would create fewer breakpoints. For use on dialogue, I find that something around the default of 500 milliseconds actually works really well. There's also a smooth slider. This controls the strength of the fader rider with higher values making the gain changes more subtle. Dynasyst applies the changes in the ride section in order to hit a target loudness level. By default, this is set to minus 24 LUFS, which is the specification for the American ATSC A85 loudness standard. If I wanted to change this to something different, for example, minus 23 LUFS for EBUR128, I could change it here, and Dynasyst makes the necessary adjustments to hit that new target. It's usually a good idea to keep this avoid clipping feature active. This applies a true peak limiter in order to prevent clipping. Let's take a listen to a section of the audio again, now that we've applied Dynasyst. The Tomorrow Home is part of our ongoing commitment to protecting the environment and showcases various technologies designed to reduce carbon emissions. The Tomorrow Home gives that opportunity to be able to test some of the new technology. You know, here you've actually got our heating system in this particular property and an air source system next door. So essentially, infrared doesn't warm air at all. It just travels straight through air. I hope this trial will actually prove that the infrared heating is the more reliable, the more economical, and also the cheaper. Excellent. And that was obviously significantly faster than manually applying clip gain. If you need to, you can always go into manual editing mode by clicking on the pen icon. And in this mode, you have free reign to adjust breakpoints as needed. Also, you can set the maximum possible amount of cut or boost here. Let's take a look at the Voxgate feature. This might be best suited to things like podcasts where you want to reduce the level of background sounds in between words. Here's a short section of audio which would benefit from this. Someone's mistook that as a unidentified, what they called again? Tic Tacs. Tic Tacs. Well, they're described as Tic Tacs because no, they... No, you called them UAP. Oh yeah, UAP. Well, UAPs... What, what does that mean? 
So as you heard, there's a slight noise between the words there. The ride section is already active, but now I'll activate the gate. This is actually more than a simple traditional gate. It uses AI to apply intelligent gating while not cutting out quiet breaks or syllables. Someone's mistook that as a unidentified, what they called again? Tic Tacs. Tic Tacs. Well, they're described as Tic Tacs because no, they... No, you called them UA. P. Oh yeah, UAP. Well, UAP. What, what does that mean? Good, and to adjust the amount of reduction, you can click and drag here, or the close speed, which is the attack, can be adjusted here, and the same thing with the open speed, which is the release. Let's now take a quick look at the breath section. This does what you'd expect it to. It reduces the level of breaths. The range determines how much they'll be reduced by, and the transition speed is like the attack and release time. Dynasys determines the threshold based on the integrated loudness of the clip, but the relative threshold control gives you some additional control over how this module responds. Here's a section of audio before processing. It's all science fiction and conspiracy theories. Let's focus on real issues like poverty and equality rather than chasing little green men. We can see the sections in the waveform which Dynasys has identified as breaths. So now I'll just enable this. Let's say we want maybe a 12 dB reduction. Those are the sections which it's going to duck for breaths. Here's how it sounds. It's all science fiction and conspiracy theories. Let's focus on real issues like poverty and equality rather than chasing little green men. The sibilant section is a de -esser. Here's some audio which would benefit from this. All of us, individuals, schools, businesses and governments, have a role to play in keeping our digital world safe. Enabling the sibilance tab, all of the sections which have been detected as sibilance are highlighted in this light grey colour, and of course we have the range control which can determine how much reduction we're going to apply to that. I'll guess initially and try 10 dB. All of us, individuals, schools, businesses and governments, have a role to play in keeping our digital world safe. And of course we could increase or probably decrease this as we need to, and maybe adjust the transition speed. Let's take a listen to this. All of us. Individuals, schools, businesses and governments have a role to play in keeping our digital world safe. Dynasyst is a very useful tool when working on dialogue. And Dynasyst Lite, which is included with active Pro Tools subscriptions, includes the Ride and Voxgate sections. If you're a Pro Tools user and you haven't tried Dynasyst Lite yet, then I strongly recommend giving it a go. Or if you're interested in upgrading to the full version of Dynasyst with the Breath and Sibilance modules, head over to NoiseWorksAudio.com. Thanks for watching.